A new Jaguar is always a big deal for us Brits. In your 20s you want a hot hatch, in your 30s you want a fast Beamer, in your 40s well you kind of want anything with a short skirt and a pulse, but in your 50s you always end up wanting a Jag. And we're here to tell you whether this has still got claws. <laughs> Well, actually, they've scrapped the idea of making it out of steel and have decided to make it out of aluminium instead. But what does that mean? Well, whereas the old XJ was made out of steel and welded, which is heavy, the new XJ is made out of aluminium and riveted, which isn't. And that means you don't need as much energy to cart the whole lot around. Simple. Now, typically, that means the whole XJ range is some 200 kilograms lighter than either the Mercedes S-Class or BMW 7 Series, which is like carrying two of me around at all times. Ugh. There'll be four engines, ranging from a 3-litre V6 right up to a supercharged 4.2-litre V8 that goes into this bad boy XJR. It's got 400 brake horsepower and on a straight bit of road will hit 62 in five dead. Oh, and give it enough space and it'll run on to electronically limited 155 miles an hour. Phew! And in here, there's nothing that's going to scare the traditional Jag buyer. You've got a great big slab of solid looking dash, some really nice clear dials, and a really intuitive and simple to use touchscreen sat nav, much better than BMW 7 Series. And you'll also notice over the old XJ that it's absolutely huge in here, especially in the back. Check this out, this is me in the back with a six foot driver. It's an absolutely huge car. But if you're going to buy an XJ, is the 400 brake horsepower XJR really the one to have? The whole range is more suited to cruising than abusing, it's a, a more genteel experience. And as I drive through the night, there's plenty of time to reflect. Think about it like this. The 3-litre XJ6 has a perfectly adequate 240 brake horsepower and the same appealing image. And it costs just £39,000. That should make all those German luxury car manufacturers quake in their boots.